Right, kicking things off with the smartphone telescope, which has a magnification far more powerful than any standard smartphone telephoto lens. What we're talking about here is the ability to get 40 times closer to objects. And whilst this isn't the most intuitive bit of kit to use, it's a little bit fiddly, there's a little bit of setup involved, and it doesn't fill the whole phone's display. Nonetheless, it is an incredibly impressive effect that you've no doubt not been able to achieve thus far with any other smartphone gadget. Number two is the SeaWag, which allows your phone to become completely, fully immersible in water up to 25 meters. So really, this is a glorified plastic bag, but it gives you peace of mind, and the peace of mind comes from the straps at the top, which when they're locked into place, completely airlock the bag, so no water can get into it. If you follow my Instagram, you might know that I recently took a trip to Greece, where I actually used this device to record slow-mo video from my phone for when I was snorkeling, and it worked like an absolute charm. Your touchscreen is completely usable while it's in the bag, and because of the high transparency of the plastic, you get some really clear footage, much better than if you'd spent an equivalent amount of money on some cheap disposable waterproof camera. The smartphone umbrella, to which you might be thinking, wait a second, what? Is a geniusly designed bit of handiwork. So from the outside, it looks like any other standard high quality umbrella. You've got two layers of material to help it last for longer. You've got a painted interior. It even actually opens in reverse, which is cool. But the crux of it is this handle, which allows you to use the umbrella while still keeping both hands free, which you guessed it means you can still use your smartphone. This is a real 21st century product. The augmented reality gun, which ended up being quite a bit cheaper than I was expecting. It's not the most polished or necessarily the most well-rounded product, but there's definitely some fun to be had here. There's a proprietary application which has quite a few different built-in games, nothing too deep, nothing you can really get your teeth sunk into, but it's quite a nice novelty. And the hardware itself is nice, it's strong plastic construction, feels good in the hand and looks pretty badass too. Okay, this next one is airing on the unusual side of the products in this video. This is the karaoke mic. It is a set of earphones which admittedly aren't the best, and even for $10 you can get better sound quality wise, but you get this condenser microphone, which you can raise to your mouth when you're trying to talk to someone to get much clearer audio quality. It's better than its diminutive size would suggest, and because of its plug and play nature, that means that when you get the product, you can just plug it in your smartphone and you're good to go. No extra software or faff required. Okay, there is a certain kind of person who is going to want to tech out every single aspect of their life. I'm one of those people. So you can imagine when I found a smart wallet that can be tracked via GPS across the globe that has a built-in buzzer which you can activate remotely from your phone, I was pretty happy. And just generally as a wallet, I think it's pretty nice to look at. It's got a slick, slim interior and a faux leather finish. Okay, a headphone stand, which does not sound like the most interesting item, but there is a twist. So you've got your desk, which by the way, you might have noticed we've got those S9 Plus phones on. I did launch a giveaway for this. Link is in the description below in case you missed it. Anyway, this headphone stand has one side with adhesive on it, which allows you to stick it to the underside of your desk. But the thing I'd say really makes this product are the cable routing stickers that come with it, which also use adhesive to stick to the underside of your desk and they keep the cable neat. You can thread the cable through them and it won't hang down at all. And last but not least, and where this links to your smartphone, is the three port charging station on the front. So you can have your phone on the desk while it's being charged. I promise, this phone holder is a little more interesting than it looks. I suppose it almost has to be. It looks like a folding piece of plastic, but it does solve a very real problem where your socket is placed too high up your wall and anything you plug into it literally is hanging in the balance. So you grab this phone holder and you actually fit it around your phone charger on the wall. And by giving your device a tray to rest on, you can actually charge your phone and not feel like it's the last time you're gonna see it. All 
Alright, this is a fun little one. This is a DIY case, pretty much directly inspired by Lego, but not actually Lego. So the back of the case is made of a cheapish looking plastic, but these delightfully coloured little blocks make up for it. And it's a bit of a three-in-one. You get protection for your phone, you get a case that looks the way you want it to look, but also the bonus of having a toy that you can take around wherever you go. It's not the most comfortable or the most protective case around, but the novelty factor is pretty high. So when I was digging around on the internet a couple of weeks ago, I think I found a pretty great alternative to a screen cleaning cloth. This pack of three cleaning balls is not something I've ever seen anyone use out in the wild, but it is a viable alternative. Each ball has two sides, one of them being microfiber, which you use to remove stubborn marks, and the other being a terry cloth, which you use to remove dust, fingerprints and smudges. One of the balls comes with a keyring attachment, which is nice, and there's nothing more to say apart from the fact that it leaves your screen glistening in the light. Okay, we have covered a similar looking spider stand to this in the past. This is my favourite. This is a gigantic, almost intimidating looking stand over here. But with this clever rotating holder, it can hold all manner of devices, your phone, your tablet, even an e-reader if you wanted to. And because the legs are so far apart and so stable, it means that you can use it in challenging situations, such as when you're in bed, or when you're shuffling around on a sofa, it'll hold itself in place. Probably not for the fashion conscious. This hat actually contains two small drivers which you position over your ears and you can use them to wirelessly connect to your phone and listen to music while keeping your ears warm. But yeah, I mean it's not something I was particularly looking forward to trying on, let alone showcasing to hundreds of thousands of people, but hey ho, the things I do for you guys. Following on from the karaoke mic I showed you guys earlier on in the video, this is a more focused approach. This is just a microphone, no earphones, and you just plug it into your phone and you're good to go. Quite a nifty little $5 stepping stone for anyone who wants to step into the world of vlogging. So this is a straight up recording from my phone, the Vivo Nex. So I'm going to plug this microphone in and let's see if it makes a difference. So microphone attached, I'm talking at the same volume. You should be able to hear that the quality is better. There should be a little bit more bass and just generally a little bit less background noise. All right guys, this video was sponsored by LastPass and this is a service that I've recommended to you guys in the past. So when they wanted to sponsor some content, I was all for it. In keeping all of your passwords and data securely in one place, LastPass frees you from frustration. You no longer have to remember anything, but one master password. And once you're logged in once, you can just use one fingerprint to fill out entire forms in one go. LastPass also has a feature called Security Challenge, which grades your current passwords with a percentage score of how secure they are. So head over to lastpass.com, link is in the description below, or check out the Android or iOS application to get started. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching this video, I really do appreciate it. My name is Aaron, this is Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'll catch you guys next time.